Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create new string resources and access them from your Java code and XML. First, we're going to drag two labels into the screen. We're going to have one for the title and a smaller one for the summary. Now we have two views in our layout. We're going to give them IDs. I'm going to name the first one title. And the smaller one, we'll name it summary. Now we are going to set some values for these views from our Java code. Go to the source folder, expand your package, and you'll find the main activity.java. Here, we are going to have two reference variables, private text view, title, and private text view summary. Import your text views. Now on the onCreate method we are going to get references to these views using the find view by id method r.id.title Move your mouse over the squiggly red line and add a cast to the text view. Now we are going to get the reference to the summary. Find view by id r.id.summary. Now we have two references. We are going to set a text for these two text views. I'm going to call title.setText Android. And for summary, we are going to use a text set text method that says Android is an open source operating system that runs on a variety of devices. Now let's try to run this program. Click on the run button and you can see here it is. It's working great, it's working as expected. But there is a problem with this approach. Uh, let's get back to the code. Now you can see that we have hard coded these text into our Java program which means when you are having maybe five or six activities your activities will be using a lot of text and if you want to change any text you have to go to that particular activity open it and edit the text inside it and it is also not easy to find the text and edit it each and every time android allows you to externalize all your text to a, an external string file where you can manage all your strings at one place. Also, externalizing your string allows Android to add multiple language support to your applications. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, go to your values folder, expand it, and you'll find the strings.xml, double click on it. And here we have the Android resource editor. Uh, this is where you can manage all your strings. Click on add and choose string. Click on OK. Now you get a name and a value. The name is the name of your string resource. Uh, let's name Android. And the value will be Android. OK, this is for our title. Save it. And again, we're going to add another string resource that is called as the Android summary. And here, we'll be using this text. I'm going to cut this one and paste it over here. Right click and click on paste. Save it again. Now we're going to take a look at the raw XML. Click on the strings.xml tab and here is how our strings.xml looks like. It has a root tag that says resources 
and all string resource will use this str string tag to declare a new string resource. So this is this tag that says this is a, a string resource and the name attribute specifies the name of the string resource and then we have the value. Take a look at the strings we added. We added a string that was named Android whose value is Android starting with a capital A. And we also have another string resource that is named Android Summary and it has all the text for the summary. Most of your resources in Android will be XML files and you'll be wor working mostly with XML. It is a very easy markup language. You can learn it uh, very quickly. You don't need any formal training to do that. You can just take a look at an XML document and you can understand what it is. Now we are going to use these two string resources from our Java code. To do that, go to the main activity and from the set text method, we are going to use the resource identifier for the string, which is r dot string dot android. And for the summary, we are going to use r dot string dot android summary. So we have replaced the hard coded string with a string resource. I'm going to run this program once again. And now we are using a string resource instead of a hard coded string. So accessing uh, strings from Java is by using a string resource identifier which is which starts with r dot string dot a name of your string resource. This is how we access string resources from Java. If you want to access a string resource from XML, you can do that as well. Go to your main.xml layout and select the large text. This, our, this is our title and you see the text property, double click on it and type at the rate of string slash android. So when you access a string resource from Java, you do r.string.java. Whereas in case of an XML, you have to do at the rate of string slash and name of the string resource. We're also going to replace this summary with a string resource. I'm going to click on the text property and use at the rate of string slash Android summary. Save it by clicking on the save button. So that is how you access string resources from XML. Let's go back to Java. Here you access the string resource using r.string.android and from XML you access it using at the rate of string slash android. Now that we have assigned the title and summary, summary from the XML, we don't need it here in the Java code. So I'm going to remove this two lines of code. We don't need it. And let's run this program once again. And it works again, just as expected. So that's how you do it. So in this video, I showed you how to create a new string resource and I also showed you how to access the string resource from your Java code and XML. Thank you.